Hey everyone, it's Brianna Christine and I'm coming to you from Austin, Texas. My Airbnb in Austin, Texas. I've been here for a little over a month and a half and I haven't had a chance to see you guys on camera. And to be honest, Austin and Texas in general has been super fun. I've been dying to show you guys some clips of what's been going on here, especially this trip I took to San Antonio where we had this amazing luxury Airbnb. See clips here. so beautiful and what this got me thinking about is I haven't done a Q&A on the most frequently asked questions we get when telling others that we're doing long-term Airbnb so here we go top five questions we get first one is is it cheaper to live Airbnb style uh, as two people who lived in La Jolla, California in the year 2020, our two bedroom apartment, uh, you would think is pretty expensive and it is. However, both of our Airbnbs, one bedroom, have been the same in both Denver and Austin, Texas as our two bedroom in La Jolla, California, which is one of the most expensive areas in San Diego. So the short answer is no, it's not actually cheaper to live Airbnb, partly because it's fully furnished and partly because we've been trying to live a little closer to the city. The next question is, what did you guys bring with you? <laughs> we packed up our Mercedes. If you saw this from my first post with, it was like packed to the brim with clothes, with essential kitchen items, with workout equipment, so just a few of those items include our hand blender. We decided to bring a soda stream. Our Brita filter was an absolute must. And surprisingly, we've had to buy a can opener since coming to Airbnbs. So don't say I didn't warn you that you might need to bring your own. Um, as far as workout equipment, we brought our yoga mats. We brought free weights. We brought resistance bands and some ankle weights. So. Uh, we have had the opportunity to use them and we do appreciate having some workout equipment we can bring with us. Here in Texas, gyms are open, but it's still nice to have our own equipment. The probably the most frequently asked question we get is, do you both work remotely? Which I think is a funny question because I feel like the answer would have to be yes, but I realize there are people in the world that do not maybe do not have to work while doing what we're doing, but we are not those people. So uh, yes, we do both work remotely. Anthony works in software development and I work as a 1099 employee for a marketing company um, that's based out of New York, but pretty much our entire team is remote. And that is not a factor of COVID, that is the status of the company. So. Yes, we both work remotely. And the next question we get is, where have you been and where are you going? So tentatively, if you go back to my first post, I did write a proposal that did map out our whole plan. We've currently been to Denver and we are um, in Austin, Texas. We plan to go to North Carolina and Vermont and one other place we're fitting in between. We're just not sure what it's gonna be yet. We're trying to mix up city with mountains, see where we might fit in the best, and also just try areas that 
Maybe we wouldn't have normally had the opportunity to if we weren't going for such short periods of time. And then the last question we always get is, where is your favorite? Which is a hard question to answer because we've obviously only been on the trip for about six months. It's gonna be six months next month. And so far, Anthony likes Denver and I prefer Austin. It's definitely because I prefer to be near the water. We're right next to the river here. And I also just like that there's more to do in Austin and that there's better plant-based options. Anthony for sure loves the weather in Denver and it's, he's not wrong, it's much better there. Um, but I have a good feeling that we're definitely gonna love Vermont. So um, those are the top five questions that we get when traveling Airbnb style. I hope you guys enjoyed the clips of our uh, San Antonio Airbnb. I am not putting any clips of our Austin Airbnb. Um, I'm also not putting any clips of our weekend Fort Worth Airbnb. And that's partly because um, I want to leave the best experiences for you guys to read about. I don't really want this to be a platform where I kind of complain about a lot of things <laughs> or share like super negative experiences that we've had. So rather than sharing the negative experiences, you're just probably not gonna hear about them. So um, unfortunately, I can't give you guys any good feedback for our Airbnb in Fort Worth. And um, although this is a great place to live in Austin. I can't say a lot of great things so far about our Airbnb here. But um, I will share the Airbnb for San Antonio, the weekend one, in the description. So check it out. Definitely recommend if you're visiting San Antonio, especially if you like to party. <laughs> Not that we were there for that reason, but especially if you like to party, it's a great place to visit. So. Thank you for joining me on this quick Q&A and I'll see you guys next week.